We've got a set of six stamps and dies. You can see I've put them out here for you, but we will have a look at them in closer detail. And these are acrylic stamp sets with a matching die so that you can cut out the elements in your favourite choice of Gemini, okay? Or any other machine. They are just a thin metal die, so they will work in any of the die cutting machines. You know that we always refer to our Geminis because it's what we love here. So let me bring these over here and what I'm going to do is show you each one in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to start off, anybody that knows me knows I'm a bit OCD so I've had to put them in alphabetical order but don't tell anybody. So the first one then is our afternoon tea set, okay? And I'm going to demo with this one in a little while for you and show you how it works. If you've not come across these before, there are a set of acrylic stamps which you build up in layers to make the detail here down at the bottom. So we've got this gorgeous cake set on this one with all the details on it. And then you get the metal die to cut out elements as well. And there's more than one die. And I'll talk you through these in a bit more detail when we open the packets. So that's our afternoon tea then. The next one up is called In Bloom. So any of you out there that like your floral elements, this one's gorgeous. So let me just come all that way a little bit, yeah, so that we can see it there. All right. So Again, you've got lots of different floral elements. Now, you may be familiar with our layering stamps. We have had some out previously uh, where you build up the layers to get that definition and shading going on. It's a really nice way. If you're not a, an artist, I mean, I'm not an artist. I'm not very good at drawing, but I can get my, my, my inks out and stamp. And then you've got something that looks nice and real. And again, you've got those. There's the stamp part here. And then you've got the metal die element to cut it out when you're finished, if you so wish. So that one's in bloom. The next one is marvellous. Now, depending on where you come from, marvellous macaroons or marvellous macarons. I know it's pronounced differently, whether you're in the UK or whether you're in the US. I tend to say macaroons, but I know some people call them macarons. And again, you've got those lovely little elements there to stamp up, including that gorgeous little uh, cake dish that it stood on and you can see the pictures here you've got that die element again because that would be quite fiddly to cut out with your scissors so you've got that die element to cut it out and build it up on your project so that one is ma uh, marvelous macaron Next one is Perfect Posy. So again, a more of a floral theme on this one again, but different types of flowers. They will all mix and match. If you want to treat yourself to a full set, uh, you can mix and match them. But you've got all the foliage in there as well as your flowers. And you can just see, if I point just to the top, you can just see the different elements of the stamp sets. But as I say, we'll have a little look in a bit more detail. So that one was Perfect Posy. And then number five is Sweet Treats. Now this one, I... Uh, quite like this one because you get a sort of a choice with this one so it's there to make your very own sweet treats but you can see the picture at the bottom here is of a cupcake but they've also if you look up at this side we've got the ice cream cone going on there as well so the frosting can either be the cupcake here or you could make it into an ice cream you can see on the picture there so that one's a little bit of mix or match and again dies to cut out those stamped elements when you've done them so that's that one and then the last one in the set is the vase bouquet so again floral theme going on here you can't go wrong with flowers really they, they fit pretty much every occasion and people People tend to think, oh, if I'm making a card for a guy, I can't use flowers. But I know quite a few guys out there who would love a nice uh, spray of flowers. So it's not the case. So again, vase bouquet on that one. And the same principle, that acrylic stamp set and then the dies to cut out the elements. You can see just on this side, the flowers. And then just here, you've got that lovely vase to cut out. But just look at what you can do with these designs. How lovely is that? And this one's just got that little cake on a, if I can just turn it around a wee bit, you can see that it's got that little pop-up bit that we've just made behind it. So absolutely beautiful. And then it all folds flat to pop it in the post. So a really nice design on that one. But you can see this is a perfect one to show you how the die cuts out the shape when you've inked it all up and stamped it. So that's one of those. I'm not going to show you them all at once. I'll just show you a couple for now. Look at those zesty colours on there. How gorgeous is that? Oh, it's making my tummy rumble. 
so really really nice sort of I think that's have to be a lemon cake that one wouldn't it there yeah so you can do any color scheme literally you know whatever you fancy and this is the beauty of having a stamp you can make it look different every time there's also the greetings in there as well so you do get some sentiments along with the stamps so you can mix and match them all together so that was the afternoon tea and then look at this one again i'll just show you a couple for now but let me just stand this one up properly we've got a little triple easel going on here with that next one okay so this was the in bloom set and again using those rich quick dry inks so that once you've stamped you know that it's going to be dry ready to do the next layer and again you've got that lovely sort of if i turn it sideways look you can see the idea behind that so just to give you a little bit of inspiration and then this one again look at all those beautiful colors in there isn't that lovely and just done on some strips to make it look it just looks like the washed wood behind it and again those little sentiments come with the stamp set so you can pop those in as well so that one was in bloom which was the second set that i showed you and then i'm just going to give you just one of these on the marvelous macaroon so again it doesn't have to be a card project you know you can start making home decor and things like this so i think this is possibly one of our frame dies that we sell separately which i've got some of these in my stash and they come in so handy you might have seen me use these before on some of my demos they make a really nice sort of background for you to then add your whether it's a stamp or whether it's a die cut but you can see all those gorgeous little macaroons in there on that pretty little uh, cake tray at the bottom absolutely beautiful so that was the marvelous macaroon or macaron whichever you prefer to say so let me just grab the next set okay have i got them in the right order i have yes so perfect posy then next we've got and just look how beautiful is that one that one's done on a stepper card so you can see the different layers in it there still folds flat to post but just look at what you can do with those so that's just been stamped repeatedly with those quick dry inks again so the inks do all the work for you and then you've got the sentiment in the middle there and you can make some really stunning results with them and then just to go something completely opposite you know just change the color scheme and that one they look like little poppies there so you've got a completely different look just by changing the colors on exactly the same stamp there so that was the perfect posy so let me pop those ones back and then we've got that lovely set i want to show you one of each of those so this was the sweet treats one which was the one that i said could either be you've got them both there look so can you see what i mean about this top section with the frosting on can either be done with the cone to make it like an ice cream cone or if we come down to this side here pop it in the cupcake wrapper and you've got a cupcake so sort of a bit of a dual um, one on that one you can choose what you want to do with it and again just by making your different style cards just makes them completely different so you've got a little pop-up diamond one there good enough to eat so that one was your sweet treats and don't forget you're getting that die that metal die to help cut these out as well and then the last one in the set let me just pick a couple of those for now was that vase bouquet so again you get the stamp that makes the vase and look how realistic it looks you know just that little bit of white there makes it look as if it's catching the light but that's part of the stamp it's not being done separately afterwards with a white pen it's part of the stamp and you've got the die to cut out these gorgeous flower pieces how nice how just thinking of you that would be lovely if that came through your letterbox and, uh, and dropped on the floor wouldn't it bright your day brighten your day up but again like i said change the color scheme this time we've used the um the, the, the bars to draw around and cut out in a little bit of hessian there look so a little bit more rustic but again just by changing the colors of those flowers it looks totally different so really really nice set of, uh, of stamps and dies here happy birthday everybody and who doesn't love a great party <gasps> happy birthday